So uh, let's open our Bibles in the book of Psalms 103, verse 1. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our friend, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to such as keep his commandment, and to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. You may be wondering why I read such a long text, given that we don't have so much time. You are wondering, am I going to preach the whole text? The reason I read the whole text is for the benefit of those who will not see their Bibles again <laughs> till next Sunday. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but I encourage you not, not to have that kind of relationship with your Bible. Praise the Lord. Have, have the one that you see it every day. Praise the Lord. There's this song we used to sing that it says, read your Bible, pray every day. Pray every day, read your Bible, pray every day. If you want to grow, praise the Lord. You know, and it looks like a nursery rhyme, but that's a very loaded statement. Because as, as, as believers, the Bible says that we being born again, out of the, uh, being, being born again from the word, praise the Lord. So because we are born of the word, we need the word for us to grow. Praise the Lord. We need the word for us to live. Because when you look at the book of Genesis, you find that it is where God put the, the, the where, where God put the creature, that is what sustains the creature. Praise the Lord. So from the ground, the plants came. And from the ground, the plants are sustained. Praise the Lord. In the water, he put the fish. And in the water, the fish are sustained. Praise the Lord. Amen. Out of dust, he created us. And it is from dust that our bodies are sustained. Amen. Amen. So our spirit is from the Lord. Because the Bible says he breathed 
upon us. So it is by the word of God that our spirit can be sustained. Because his word is spirit and his word is life. Praise the Lord. Now the psalmist here is saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul. That means that for me to say, bless the Lord, O my soul, it means that I'm here and I'm speaking to my soul over here. Praise the Lord. So, so, so you may wonder, why is he talking about my soul? Because we are a three-part being. We are spirits who live in a body. Praise the Lord. We are not a body that has a spirit. We are spirits who live in a body. Amen. Amen. And we have a soul. The Bible says that when God breathed into man, man became a living soul. So this, when the spirit combines with the body, a soul is produced. Praise the Lord. When the spirit leaves the body, the soul is no more. Praise the Lord. And the body goes. So the body, what we see, is a is an encasing of who we are. Praise the Lord. So you are not. That's why, that's why the more we understand this, we discover that you're not black. Praise the Lord. You're not white. Praise the Lord. You're not this culture or that culture. Because you are a spirit. Amen. Amen. It's your body that may be black. It's your body that may be white. But you, as an individual, you are a spirit. You are not male and you are not female. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are not male or you are not because the Bible says in, in Christ there is neither male nor female. Your spirit is in a female body, but you are not female. Praise the Lord. Your spirit is in a male body. But when we go to heaven, there will be no male or female. Praise the Lord. So if you are waiting to get married in heaven, you better reverse and get married here. Praise the Lord. <laughs> For some activities are not going to be happening <laughs> in heaven. Praise the Lord. Those are bodily activities. They are not spiritual. Praise the Lord. So, so we are. We have a body. Amen. So he saying, "Bless the Lord, O oh my soul." Now, the body connects with the earth. Praise the Lord. Because we see, we hear, we touch. That is our body. That's who we are as a body. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then the spirit connects with God. Because God is a spirit. Yes. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That is why that sometimes when somebody says God spoke to you, you look at them weird because you are trying to figure out how did they, God, how did God, like I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, God has spoken to me. You may look at me and say, ah, you're crazy. No, it's because it's a spiritual experience. You cannot see it, you cannot hear it, you cannot touch it. Praise the Lord. It's a spiritual experience, it's not a physical experience. God relates to us through the Spirit. Amen. Amen. That is the, that's how he relates to us. Yes, in the Bible, there are a few times where he came out and spoke to us physically. But his most way that he communicates to us is by our spirit. Because he has put us his spirit in us. Praise the Lord. That's why when the Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, the soul is the connector. Is the connector between the body and the spirit. Now, in the soul, that's where we have our emotions. Amen. That's why you see the way you feel changes from time to time based on either your spiritual experience or your physical experience. Praise the Lord. Right. That's where we have our minds. 
Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You see, mind is a soul. Brain is a what is it called? Brain is a body. Praise the Lord. The mind controls. The mind uses the brain to function. Praise the Lord. And then in there, they will say there are emotions. There is the will. The will to do, the will not to do. Praise the Lord. Now, he is looking. And you see, one of the things you find is that the body, that's the flesh, and the spirit, they are all contesting to get control of your soul. Because where your soul is, that's where the, every other part goes. Praise the Lord. Your soul controls you. Who you are is your soul controls who you are. That's what he's saying. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Because he said, if my soul focuses on God, then everything else that is within me will also focus on God. Because where your mind is, that's where everything else goes. Praise the Lord. Because, let, let me tell you, mm, the soul, mostly the soul's, the soul's activity is around our head. Most of the soul activity. Praise the Lord. But the spirit operates from our, from our belly. Praise the Lord. You see, we have, we have two operating systems. We have an operating system in our brain, which we always use. Amen. And we have an operating system in our belly, which many of us don't use. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. The operating system in our belly is very good. Praise the Lord. And sometimes we call it the gut feeling. Gut feeling. I'm telling you, when you follow that operating system, most of the time they are always accurate. Because it is not from within, it's from the spirit. Praise the Lord. So, so you know, sometimes, have you ever, like for example, if you're going to do a, a presentation, you feel butterflies. Praise the Lord. Why? It's because that operating system is trying to come up with solutions for you. Praise the Lord. You know, and sometimes we do not access it very well. The word of God helps us to access it. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we do not access it very well. Amen. So, he said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now, that's all I'm going to say about the soul, spirit, and body. Praise the Lord. We shall have a series about that another time. Praise the Lord. That was just to waste your appetite. Amen. Amen. Now, he says that, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hey, how many of us have jobs? Praise God. And uh, one of the things, I think some of us, even we, the reason we have the jobs is like it's for the benefits. Yes. <laughs> amen, amen. You know, the, 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 there's the there's the uh, there's the benefit of health. Four one k. Praise the Lord. You know, before even you apply for a job, you wanna know what are the benefits. What are the benefits? Praise the Lord. You know, because you are thinking about four one k, health insurance, dental, everything. You know. So he says that one. As you bless the Lord, remember that there are benefits. Amen. Amen. There are benefits. You know, there is also some other we used to. Anyway, let me not get into that. And he says one of the benefits is he forgives all your iniquities. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You know. The knowledge that God has forgiven you, it's a, it's a very important knowledge. David said, blessed is the man whose sin is forgiven. forgiven. That means when your sins are forgiven, it means that the devil has no hold over you. Amen. Because when your sins are not forgiven, it gives the devil a foothold. It gives the devil somewhere to operate. 
But when your sins are forgiven, the devil has no hold over you. Praise the Lord. So he says, who forgives all your iniquities? Because once he forgives all your iniquities, it means that you are in fellowship with him. Praise the Lord. For example, when, when you have a when, when somebody has wronged you, you don't care what happens to them. Praise the Lord. But when you forgive them, you bring them close to you again. Praise the Lord. That is, that's what he's saying. Who forgives us? You know, being forgiven is a very big thing. Because it means that now you and God are, at this, are in the same page. You have peace with God. Praise the Lord. You know, I don't care about, I don't know about you, but I think the person that I need to have peace with first is God. Right, that's right. Praise the Lord. Among everybody else, the first person that I need to be at peace with is God. Because if you are not at peace with God, uh, the devil is able to come and do things to your life. Praise the Lord. But if you are at peace with God, then you know that you can always call on God for help. And God will help you. Praise the Lord. Because being at peace with God is a great thing that we have been given. That is a benefit. Praise the Lord. Then the, the another benefit is that who heals all your diseases? Praise the Lord. Not some. All. Praise the Lord. That means that incurable, curable, whatever it may be, that... He heals all our diseases. So that means that in any time I'm sick, I am able to call unto God and he will heal us. The Bible says that he gives his word and his word heals us. Praise the Lord. The Bible says by his stripes we are healed. And I'm telling you, health is well. Think about it. Have you ever been sick? Have you ever been sick before? You know, you know how it feels to be sick. Eh? You, 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 there are things you cannot do because you're sick. Amen. Like you can't just, you know, like right now you can, you, you can pay attention to me. If you are sick, you cannot really pay attention. Because you, you, you are thinking about the body trying to figure out how I can feel better. Like even sometimes when you just get a cold, that common cold, eh? you just feel like like there's a bubble in your head. <laughs> Amen. But thank God that he says that he heals all our diseases. Amen. That means that it doesn't matter what sickness you face, there is an opening that God can heal all your diseases. You do not have to walk in fear. 